I'm going to be demonstrating the effect of nitric acid on copper. Now I have copper in this beaker here and what you can see is it's like uh, metal turnings from a lathe or a drill and that makes lots of surface area so this reaction can go a little faster than it might go otherwise. And we're going to use concentrated nitric acid which comes from here and I put it into this little storage bottle here to be able to work with it more easily. And so the, there's the actual solution I'm going to be using. Over here, I just have some plain water. And you'll see how all of this works together in just one moment. So first thing we're gonna do is take the top off of this and pour our nitric acid in and watch the action. We're doing this over a fume hood because as you can see, we're getting some really nasty looking gas. Okay, this is a NO2 or NO1 nit nitrogen monoxide. And I want to make sure that I'm not going to have to breathe any of that stuff. And you can see it's really going to town here. And uh, you would think the world had come to an end or something. But basically what's happening is the nitric acid reacts with the copper to form copper nitrate which uh, copper is now an ion, and that ion has a totally different kind of physical appearance. In fact, it has no appearance at all, except that you can see the color in the solution. And right now that solution looks really, really dark because we're still engaged in the reaction. And we should be done with this fairly soon. And oh boy, the bottom of that container is good and hot, because that is an exothermic reaction as it occurs. So, what we do next is uh, we're going to pour a little water in here, see if we can maybe clarify that solution a little bit, so that we can see what's going on in there. And you can see we're getting some color now, and wow, look at that. Copper as an ion is turning blue in the water and you're getting that beautiful copper nitrate look and that is taking electrons from the copper to make it into an ion and then the ion in the water and the typical color of blue. Uh, copper has two different states. In this particular state it will be a blue color. That's it folks.